Okay, so this is the continuation of our lecture on the 16 element mesh of a uh, square plate na ano na uh, having fixed support in all edges. Okay? So we found out uh, last time that the four mesh is not enough. Okay? So, uh, in MATLAB, I was able to prove that using a 16-element mesh will give us uh, a near exact uh, displacement at the at the at the middle of the plate. Okay, so we have a load here, 444 newton. Okay. Okay, so you already know how to find uh, the stiffness matrix of a single plate, right? So you already, uh, you already have an SMAT code for that. Okay, then um, okay, and then so for example, this one is our stiffness matrix for that single plate okay and then i'll have here the, the corresponding oh sorry that's the email well, for the google classroom yeah that's what so these are the element numbering I assigned for that 16 element meshing of that square steel plate. And the, uh, the, the blue ones are the degrees of freedom numbering. Okay. So here is three stands for uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, right? Uh, but first, uh, in order to, to know that proper sequencing of that, you should uh, establish first yung node numbering, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay? Meron tayong 25 nodes uh, in total. And uh, remember, each node has 3 degrees of freedom, right? So 25 times 3 so we have 75 degrees of freedom. Okay, take note the pattern. Okay. Take note of the pattern that, for example, this is node one. So one times three, so this is three. This is node two, two times three, six, okay? So the, when, you, when you have established a node number, uh, multiply that by three, one, two, three, that will be the degrees of freedom numbering. Okay? Now, in circle ko yung mga degrees of freedom na uh, may displacement. Right? Kasi uh, all edges are fixed connected. Right? So, 10, 11, 12, 16, 17, 18, 22, 23, 24, so on and so forth. Okay? And then I also, uh, here, uh, minute. so next is, uh, our S matrix will be what? Anong size? 27 by 27, right? Because we have, in total, we have nine nodes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine nodes na free to displace with uh, 3D, 3DOF per node. So nine times three. 27. Okay, so 27 by 27. And then, uh, so na settle na natin 27 by 27. So, uh, in terms of the the addresses in the in our 27 by 27 matrix, ito yung relative address ng mga uh, displacement. So, this one will take up the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so on and so forth, until 27. Okay? So in this lecture, I'll be using this SMAT. No? So, so I, I prefer this than using uh, an Excel here. No? As you see, so four mesh pa lang, medyo matagal po nang i-process. Okay? So that's why I preferred to use my SMAT code. So this is my stiffness matrix for the single plate. Okay, so for the BU and BB, you, uh, you need the BU and BB matrix. So, so BU means uh, this corresponds dun sa address ng ano, na i-extract natin per stiffness matrix. Okay, so balik tayo dito. So for example, sa element 1. Remember, ano lang yung may displacement dyan? Itong uh, this one, yung may degrees of freedom, uh, 10, 11, 12. Right? So sa BU matrix ko, ito siya, 10, 11, 12. Okay? Uh, if you see on my BU matrix, I have 16, um, 16 data. Okay? Then each data has a corresponding code. So yun nga, for element 1, 10, 11, 12. For element 2, what? Uh, this is one. Uh, take note, yung sequencing nung, nung what do you call this, ng, ng, ano, ng node numbering, pa ganito, di ba? Pa-clockwise yung ginawa ko. So this is my first node, second node, third node, fourth node. Right? Doon sa element na yan. And ito yung may displacement. Itong 12 and 18 sa element 2. Okay, 12 and 18. So, ano yung code niya? So, that code will be... Okay, go dito ah. Uh, 12. So, magdi-displace yung first node niya, right? So, that will be 1, 2, 3. And magdi-displace din yung fourth node niya, which is 10, 11, 12. Okay. Now, for the uh, element 16, ito, ano yung magdi-displace kay element 16? Itong node 2 niya. No? Itong node 2. Which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Kaya ang BU niya is 4, 5, 6. Okay? Now, how about the BB matrix? So, sa BB matrix, ito naman yung destination ng mga uh, yan doon sa ating S matrix. Okay? Yun yung destination. So, si si LM, si for the element 1, ano yung destination ng 10, 11, 12 na to? Doon sa ating S matrix na 27 by 27. So, for example, ito yung S matrix natin. So, that is uh, hanggang 27 to. If you notice, may na, kaya nilagay ko na itong numbering ko na to. So, 3. So, ibig sabihin si plate 1, Yung ano niya, yung, yung in-extract natin data sa kanya will be placed into 1, 2, 3. Okay, that's it. How about uh, plate 2? Saan mapupunta? So, 3 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? As you notice, uh, this is my BB. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, yan naman yung uh, element number 2. Nakita nyo yung difference. No? Sa, BU, sa BU data ng element number 2, that is 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 12. Pero yung BB data niya sa, uh, will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Kasi yan na yung destination niya dito sa S matrix natin. Okay? Next is uh, element 6. Ito. Si element 6, Mapapansin nyo, lahat ng nodes niya is what? Is free to displace, right? Kaya ang, ang BU niya will be what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hindi ko na lang kinumpleto. So that is uh, 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 1 by 12 na data. And yung buong element niya, yung buong stiffness matrix niya, uh, will be included kasi lahat ng nodes niya are free to displace. So, how about for the BB matrix? So, I'll refer here dito sa ating sa ating, ano, yan. 
Ah, sorry, dito sa ating figure na to. So if you notice, element 6 is, remember, magsisimula tayo sa ano, no? Sa pag ano, no? Pa-clockwise tayo. So ito yung node 1 ni element 6. So if you notice, 10, 11, 12. Right? 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3. Ayan. 4, 5, 6. And then 13, 14, 15. Okay, so that's it. So yun yung uh, very crucial yan, uh, yung data na yan. Now let's go back to this SMAT. So if you notice, ito yung complete uh, BUBB matrix na natin. Okay. So I'll just, I will give this SMAT file naman. Okay. So once you're completed the S, the BUBB, Remember, you need the S4, or you mean the 27 by 27 matrix. So, we natin ng color. And this is the P vector, which is, of course, uh, 27 by 1. No, 27 by 1. So, palitan ko lang to ng negative 4, 4, 4. And uh, ang address nito is at the 13th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Right? Why 13? If you refer back here, uh, nandito yung, no, yung load natin. Dito sa, uh, no, no, no. Dito, dito sa, sa position na to. Which is at the uh, 15th. No? Eh, di ba yung 15th? Uh, rotation yan. Yung 14, rotation ulit. So, 13 is the vertical displacement. Okay? Kaya ang position ng load natin is the, the 13. Okay? And with that, so this is the code for getting the stiffness matrix. This is your stiffness matrix. Again, this is symmetric. No? Symmetrical dapat yan. Medyo malaki to, no? Symmetrical. Symmetrical, okay? Zero, zero, negative six, negative six, negative, 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 negative. Okay? So, yan yung mga hindi na-output ng software. No? So, nasa internal, ano nila yan? Machine. Minimize ko ulit. And that's it. Uh, find the inverse of the S matrix and then find the displacement by this formula, S inverse P times P, and this is our corresponding displacement. Okay. I wait, I need to rerun pala. Okay. Calculation, recalculate. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, the displacement at the 13th is negative 0 0.0019. So that means 1.9 millimeters, which is... Uh, uh, what do we get exact is theoretical is what uh, 2.17 mm right one. Oh, yeah, tama pala. 1.9 the same okay we got the same result with uh, start okay 1.9 now let's try to as a sensitivity analysis just to check Kung consistent yung code natin, let's try to change the load. Say, gawin natin uh, negative 3 kN. Modify. Yes. And then run. Of course, definitely mag-increase ano, no? mag yung displacement. So we are, our final displacement is 12.85 millimeters. No, 12.85. Let's try here. So babaguhin lang natin yung force vector natin. This becomes 3,000. Okay? So CC we almost got the same answer, 12.9 millimeters. Okay? So with that, uh, so you can use 
this, but uh, syempre, I will also accept na you also use Excel. Masyado tedious lang kasi sa Excel. Uh, okay? 